Okay, so let's get a little practice using the arithmetic explicit formula. Uh, and I have two examples here from the homework that you might recognize. So uh, the first one says, consider an arithmetic sequence whose nth term is given by the formula, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so here's the explicit formula. It's sometimes called the formula for the nth term. See all these n's in it? What you do is you plug in n and it spits out numbers for you. That's why it's called the nth term formula. Uh, but I'll generally call it the explicit formula. So what you do, if you're looking for, let's say, a6, uh, you just take 6 and you stick it in wherever you see an n. So we'll do that. Let's see. Uh, A6, I'm saying 6 instead of n, equals negative 4 times 6 plus 8. Okay, so uh, math, 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 math. Negative 24 plus 8. Please don't mess up here. Uh, negative 16. Okay, A Sixth term, A6, equals negative 16. And you just go through that and do it for all of them. Uh, that's how you use the explicit formula directly. You just plug numbers in. Now, this next example says, consider three arithmetic sequences, each given by the explicit formulas shown below. And I just chopped off the rest. So this is the first one. Find the common difference for each sequence. Uh, so let's look at this one. Uh, a n, and that's not A to the n. It's just A sub n equals negative 11 n minus 16. And it wants to know what's the common difference. Well, think about what the explicit formula is. Let's write that here. A n equals A1 uh, plus n minus 1 times d. Okay, so let's, let's massage this formula a little bit. We'll see what we get. Uh, I'm going to just get rid of that parentheses there by distributing the d through multiplication. So see, I have n times d minus 1 times d. Okay, and we'll rearrange this a little bit. Actually, we don't even need to rearrange. Let's just stop here. Look, take a look at this formula. Where is the n? Right, it's, it's right here. It's n times d. So when you want to know what d is, all you have to do is look at your formula and ask what is multiplied by n. In this case, over here, it's negative 11 multiplied by n. So negative 11 has to be d. And we could rearrange this to look more like that, or you could just say, hey, whatever, whatever is multiplied by n, that's, that's going to be d. Okay, and so that would be our answer right there.